Okay, everybody, here we are, masking off the deck, getting ready for paint. So, I just figured I'd time lapse this and, and show y'all me masking the deck off again. With the boat being the size it is and in this building, there's not much room for me to post the, the camera up somewhere so you can see everything. So, you just have to bear with me on this, but I just thought I'd note that spraying blue tomorrow. See y'all soon. I know it's not pretty, but it is completely sealed off. And this is an extremely stressful task when you have a lot of wind blowing in on you and doing it by yourself. But I got it. I'm confident no overspray is going to get on top of the deck. So just thought I'd show you all that real quick and I will see you all soon. Whew, that'll work you. I just have to mask off the cockpit now and then of course mask off the bottom and she's ready for solvent cleaning okay everybody solvent cleaning time i'm just going to show you real quick which in my opinion is the proper way to solvent clean so as before denatured alcohol you have your rag you want to fold it up so that you can unfold and reuse a new section after each couple swipes so you want to Wipe like that, take the rag, unfold it, refold it, get another clean side of the rag. You want to do a section like that, unfold your rag and keep doing it until you use every side of the rag, toss it, grab a new rag and start over. You do not want to solvent wipe a boat this size with one rag. And if you keep using the same size, you're just going to start smearing everything you're trying to clean off into your prep surface. So. Be sure to continually unfold and refold your rag, and like I said, when you hit every section of the rag, chuck it, get another one. I'm going to do this in time lapse status, and I'll get back with y'all when it's tack rag time. See you soon. Okay everybody, all the solvent cleaning is done. Now before I tack rag, I'm going to go ahead and hose down the floor and the walls. Just try to take every step possible to keep the dust and trash to a minimal. Um, no matter what I do, I'm still going to get dust and paint. I mean, it's just there's basically no way around it, but you can minimize it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the floors and walls hosed down, take you all to the paint mixing process. Then I'll jump into tack rag mode and spray mode. Hey everybody, so before mixing the paint, I just wanted to show y'all, I am a big fan of the 3M Mackie spray system. They work great, clean up is awesome. And uh, you know, here's the one I've been using. Figured I'd get a brand new one for this big job. I know some of you are probably like, is he really getting ready to spray that boat with a 3M Mackie spray? Well, the answer is yes. Ever since I started using this setup, I have not picked up my banks for the build this. They work great, they atomize the paint perfectly, and obviously I'm going to be using a 1.2 cap, but they have a variety of caps so that you can spray barrier coat, non-skid, you know, the heavier products all the way down to the finest. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you all that again. I personally love the 3M Mackie Spray. Excellent setup. I just wanted to share that real quick, and I'll be back to y'all soon. Hey everybody, here we are. I got All Grips, All Craft 2000. This is a two to one mixture. 
and it's an acrylic urethane. The great thing about this paint is it's repairable. The UV inhibitors in the paint cure throughout the entire layer of paint after it's applied. Unlike regular oil grip, which is a polyester, the UV inhibitors in that cure on the surface, so therefore it's unrepairable because once you break through that, you know, protective layer, then the paint's just gonna fade and dull out and you'll have to repaint again. So, Allcraft 2000 being an acrylic and easy to work with is definitely the way to go unless you want, you know, regular oil grip. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. I'm gonna allow it to induct for 15 minutes, then I'm gonna thin it. And while it's inducting, I'm gonna go ahead and tack rag the boat and get it ready so that I can just get this process done. So stay tuned, see you soon. Okay, everybody, here we go. Three and Mackey spray. All Craft 2000 Corinthia Blue. Okay, first coat, light tack coat. Do not try to go for color coverage. You just wanna get a good quick coat on there so that your second heavier coat has something to grip to. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I mean by light coat, and then I'm gonna go into time lapse mode and I'll catch you all on the second coat. So that's all we're looking for for the first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse it and I'll see y'all soon. Okay, everybody, going for coat number two. I'm just gonna put this on a little thicker. I'm gonna go a little slower. Now I'm aiming for color coverage. I won't achieve that until my third coat. And anyhow, time lasting. See y'all soon. Okay, everybody, going for coat number three. I'm gonna go a lot slower on this one, take my time and try to get full color coverage and slickness so I don't have to do a fourth coat, but, well, we'll see. I'll probably have to do a fourth coat, but fingers crossed I'll be done after this one. So here we go.
All right, fellas, third coat is done. I think it looks pretty sharp. I don't really see a reason to do a fourth coat, but let's take a walk around the boat and we can look at it together. So here we go. I'm gonna do my best holding the phone so y'all can see everything while I kind of talk, but let's go. Here is where I did the huge repair. Yeah, she's a little lumpy bumpy. She ain't perfect, but I'm happy with it. I'm pretty sure the owner will be happy as well, so. There we go right here. This is my spray equipment and all great product. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Hopefully y'all are too, so. I'm gonna let that pack up. Well, I'm gonna let it cure and uh, get my white boot stripe and gold coat stripe laid out. So those are the next steps. Stay tuned, see y'all soon.